Bitcoiners. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Cesar with Cesar Gets Crypto, and we're talking about three different altcoins today. We'll be talking about eGold, Mover, and ALCX, all at the request of Mr. Jason Sanger and Jeffrey O. Um, so without any further ado, let's get into this. I won't be doing all the requests today. I know that there are probably some requests that um, I have left untended to, but I went through about half the comments. I, I, I don't have time to go through the other ones. Um, I will be. I have a flight to catch tomorrow to Vegas. I'm getting married, so I've got to go to bed early. I don't. I, I just don't have time. So I'll do it whenever I get back, or maybe I'll do some analysis whenever I'm on the road, even. But um, likely it'll probably be when I get back on Tuesday, maybe even Wednesday. So, uh, anyways, happy New Year, y'all. I'll see you next year. Uh, and with that in mind, let's get started. So looking at this here on the monthly e-gold, Elrond, uh, from low to high, went down to your 382, didn't really find any significance on this FIB. I don't know if I like it. I don't know if, I mean, like, I, not not the chart, just if I, if I would like to use that as a FIB. So maybe this bottom, nope, that's not, that was not the bottom. The bottom to top here, found support, your 1272, 1414, 1414 area. At the 886 now, you probably pull back. You probably do. But let's look at this on the weekly and just see. Double top on the RSI overbought at the 82. That's pretty overbought. You broke out and had follow through, but you can see, right, like quick and then like dying off. Volume even is dying off as you're moving up. I bet you go lower. Let's look at, let's see what uh, this is doing on EGLD. Sorry. On the tether pair, yeah, volume is still dying off. Okay, looking at the daily here, double bearish divergence. Yes, you probably do work your way all the way. You're at sixty-seven dollars now. You probably work your way down below fifty dollars, maybe even below forty dollars. Um, probably back to around the screen line. You look like you respect it enough. Look at that resistance right there. Like literally tipped it, tipped it here, hugged it, and then once you broke above it, you found support and went off. Disrespected it a little bit here. I would expect that you go back around the screen line. So this is the 123 moving average. For those of you that don't know, just put a, go to your indicators, go to technicals, scroll down to M's, moving average, simple. And then once you have it, you can double click the line itself or click the settings bar up here, put your input to 123. On the daily, I believe that the price will go to this line or below this line and that will be the prime area to buy. Over the coming days, this line will continue to move up and you know that might be like in line with the top area here. Maybe it's in line with something in this range, but nonetheless, I think you're gonna go below $50. I very much doubt that you would go below $40. So 50 to $40, probably the range that I would give it, um, but down from here is what I'm thinking. So let's move on to Mover, M-O-V-R, USD on Kraken, Moon River, that's right. Um, big move up, yes, very big move up. Um, no bearish divergence, kind of in a bull flag. It could be bullish. You might go down. I forget. I think my last video I made on this, I was saying it was it was going to go down, and it was it was sometime after this move up. I don't think it was before the move up, but maybe maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Um, very big week. <laughs> you had one week that it just it eclipsed a whole uh year or more of price action just crazy madness um let's see high here to low there you got your 0.5 holding at your 382 yeah man you i don't know it doesn't look half bad you could go all the way back to 11 dollars. here you are sitting at 27 now but you might not that's a pretty steep drop showing positive reactions off the 382 let's see let's get maybe a more relative fib low to high yeah, you probably go to 17, below 20. I bet you go to $17, somewhere around there. Um, over the coming weeks, coming month, probably something like that, and then continue upwards. That's that's my thoughts on Mover. Finishing up the video now with ALCX, um, Al Alchemix. Um, it's kind of a nice name. Let's see. Never heard of this one before. Decent. Not too exciting yet. If you were excited with this week here, 64%, um, just wait till you break out of this range that you're in, man. It's going to get real exciting um, if you can do that. Let's see. You're very strong on your RSI. Yes, I want to look at this one a little bit more. ALCX Alchemix. $165 million market cap. Looks like the total looks like it's fully diluted, so that's nice. Um, 
as long as there's, there's nothing fatally wrong with this thing and it doesn't get rug pulled or anything. Uh, oh, it's a, it's a, <laughs> is it is it a stable coin? No, it's not. What the heck, man? This one says 2662. This is not the right one. Alchemex USD. Let me let me. Uh, sorry, guys. ALCX. Did I? I might have typed in USD afterwards. That might have been my fault. Okay, there we go. 55 million. Not fully diluted, but pretty damn near. Um, again, assuming nothing fatally wrong goes goes on with this thing. Let's see. 55 million dollars. Something like that, man. It could it could multi hundred x. Like it really, really could. And I like that it's fully diluted. I don't know much about this thing, so don't hold me to it. But if I really had to guess, um, you're probably in the workings right now of moving up to about $63 to $100. You probably find resistance in that $100 area. It makes sense, psychological level. Resistance at $100 does not mean that you hit this line and then you turn around immediately. It, it doesn't mean that you even have to hit that line. Maybe you barely miss it, maybe and probably you break straight through it a little bit and then come, you know, like you probably come up to it, wick above it, and then come down. This thing's a pretty low market cap, so... Something like that shouldn't be too out of the question, but you probably find turbulence in this area, you know, somewhere somewhere in that area, around a hundred dollars. Which this here being like at one thirty and all the way down to like ninety-five there, this this is probably the area that you find some turbulence in, is all I'm trying to say. But right now I bet you're making your way up there. Um, in the immediate terms, you probably move down a little bit. My my internet is slow for some reason. I don't get it, man. It says I have full service. And it does this sometimes. I'm, I'm like, I'm not in the in the woods anywhere, man. I'm, I'm right here in the city. Um, bearish divergence. No, not technically, but this rejection off the overbought zone is not friendly, man. Um, top to bottom here. One eight eight six hit. You're just working your way down now. Your extensions. You probably come back. Let's see. Bottom to top. Yeah, you probably worked your way down to about 17 bucks. 17 to 15 bucks is what I'm thinking for this thing. And then working your way up to like literally to $100, man. So that's good op good opportunity to buy. You might not move down that low. Generally speaking, I would expect that just based off of fibs, but you could, you really could find support on your 0.5. You might even be able to find support like somewhere in between the 0.5 and the 618. Um, if you don't stop, if you don't go to 17 to 15, Maybe you find support around twenty bucks, twenty to seventeen dollars, something like that. But I would think that you go lower than this three eighty two, which would mean you at least go to about twenty bucks there. Um, but the main reason I'm saying that, why I'm throwing that in as an option, is because you've got this kind of like ascending trend line here. If you went down and worked your way down, that's like right around twenty bucks, you know, at like a steady pace down. That's a pretty fast pace down. Even it might, you might not even go to twenty bucks. Maybe you go to twenty one or twenty two, but. Down from here, nonetheless, is what I would expect, and then up, um, with the potential low coming in at about 15 bucks. Don't be surprised; it might look like you're breaking out of this this ascending structure if you made a move down like that. But don't don't be scared; it'll it'll just be a good opportunity to buy. Um, as long as you're above the screen line and you're moving up like that, I think that you're fine. Uh, truthfully speaking, and it, it really, if you get below it, it's okay. But just get back above it, like within like a couple weeks or so, and you should be fine on this daily perspective. Um, Four hour looks bad or sad, I should say, not bad. It looks it, it just went strong and now it's showing some weakness and that's okay. Probably down, probably down. So all of them look like they want to move down in the immediate term, and then they all probably go up throughout the market, right? That's that's about it. So if you like the video, hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you all very much and happy new year. Take care of yourselves. Bye bye.